Hello, Scoreholio organizers. This is Ben with Scoreholio. I'm going to show you how to set up pre-registration and pre-payment for your tournaments so people can pre-register or pre-pay for your tournament. Um, as you can see, I am on Scoreholio Horseshoes. This is the main screen. If I click on that logo, it will ask me to go ahead and change my sport. So if you are doing another sport, obviously make your tournament under the correct sport. You can click on the logo anywhere in the app to change that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to run a tournament. That's where I do all my organizing of my tournaments. Remember, run a tournament and player profile are two separate things in the Scoreholio app. So you can actually have two separate email addresses if you run your tournament with a different one. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in here and you're gonna notice that I'm already logged in. It's gonna ask you for your first name, last name, and email if you're signing up for the first time. Uh, and then you would create a password. I'll let you figure that one out on your own. So uh, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is set up your prepayment. We do use PayPal for all of our payments. That's what you would have to have as a business PayPal account. You'd go here and you'd verify your phone number and do all the steps that PayPal requires to accept a payment. I'll go ahead and let you check those out at docs.scoreholio.com. You can search for pre-registration. It'll show you all the different fees that are taken out by PayPal. We also have a 2% fee that we take out of the uh, entry fee up to 99 cents. So uh, the most we would take out is 99 cents. That is a pass-through payment. So basically a player would uh, pay for the tournament. That money would go straight to you directly. Uh, if there's any refunds or people need to back out, you would refund them the money right from your own PayPal. Um, the next thing I want to show you is that we do have upgraded plans. And, um, you know, this is a simulator, so I can't show you all of them. But go to Docs scoreholio.com and this is where you would upgrade your scoreholio organizer account as you can see i'm a scoreholio pro uh, the other thing is is you can see i don't have a name set here but you can always click on this and set your club name do all sorts of fun things uh, down there by clicking on the profile let's get into the nitty-gritty here i'm going to click on create new and that's where i'm going to show you how to set up your pre-registration so this is going to be my pre-reg tutorial excuse me let me spell that correctly to oh my gosh tutorial i'll get her together here and i'm going to go ahead and say that i'm going to be running this tournament tomorrow on saturday and uh let's make the location where i typically run my tournaments at the brewery now private and public public means that it will be on our find a tournament list for everybody to see private means that you know people won't be able to see it um, and you would have to send them a link for your tournament. Player scoring means that players can score right from their phone. It's really up to you whether you want to allow that. Um, you can learn all of this stuff by clicking on this info button and you can read through it or go by going to docs.scoreholio.com. I'll let you go through how what all these other things mean. Um, for now, we're going to just say that we're going to do, uh, let's say, a round robin. doesn't really matter. Um, and we're going to go ahead and call it uh, singles, right? So if I have a singles tournament and I want to charge everybody, let's say, $20 for this tournament, and that's uh, per spot. Oop, let me go ahead and fix that and delete that zero there. So it's $20 to play this tournament. I'm going to turn on my pre-registration here. First thing is max spots. Let's say I want to only allow 16 teams to my tournament, and I'm going to close registration 24 hours, one day before the tournament starts. You know what, uh, for ours, I'm going to go all the way up to registration, so I'll leave that at zero. Um, the next thing is the team style. So this is how it shows on the display. So you can put first name, last name, the display name of players, first initial, last name, you know, depending on how you want to do it. Now, let's say that it was actually not singles, and we were actually doing a set teams tournament here. So doubles or four to up to four on a team. Um, the entry fee is actually for the entire team. So one person would pay for it. The other people would have to pay their teammate to be able to, you know, however they want to do it. It's just cleaner that way for you as an organizer to have one person pay for the entire team. That's what that uh, per spot means. And you'll see that uh, when it is set teams, they can do a custom team name if you select that one now. Um, like I said, I'm going to just do singles for this tutorial. It makes it easier when I show you the other side. Um, now, let's say I want to ask for a t-shirt size. You can request a t-shirt size. I'm giving out cool, free swag at the tournament. Um, the next thing is accept payments. Let's say that I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, I want to 
make uh, payments optional. So that means they can pay there or pay on the app. Um, and who pays the processing fee, the player or the organizer? Let's say I'm going to have the organizer pay the uh, processing fee. I can always do that and then just hide the processing fees by making it $23 or something like that. It's up to you. Go to docs.scoreholio.com again. You'll be able to see all those different fees and whatnot. But let's go ahead and, uh, you know, advance all this kind of stuff. I'll let you learn about that on your own. And I'm going to go ahead and create this tournament. Now, because I've created this tournament, it's going to come up as uh, pre-reg tutorial. It will show up because I made it public. And you'll see that there's no tournaments here because this is a simulator and who knows where on earth it is. I'm going to go ahead and click this filter button and I'm going to create, I'm going to say that I want to say all the tournaments and you'll see that Ben's tutorial comes up and pre-registration tutorial comes up. So that's how your players can go ahead and find your tournament. And if I click on pre-registration, a player would come here. They would click register. Let's, uh, I have gained a little weight, so I'm going to have to put an extra large t-shirt size for this one. And I'm going to click the register button. And I'm going to say I'm just going to pay at the event. Now, if I click pay now, it would ask for a credit card or I could pay through PayPal as a player. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, you know, pay, um, pay at the event. And so now that that is done, you're going to go ahead and if I went back to my run a tournament tab, and I uh, clicked on this pre-registration tutorial and went to the admin of the tournament. You're going to go ahead and see that Ben is now, um, you know, my player that I signed up on my own is now in the pre-registered list. Now, if I click on the team name here, I can always go ahead and check in Team Ben. And now Team Ben is going to go ahead and go into the checked in team list. And that's how you go ahead and do your pre-registration. And if you're accepting pre-payments, that's how you set it all up. It's all easy peasy on the Scoreholio app. Thank you very much.